Hello and welcome to part one of the Stryker Chair Training for Building Deputies at Purdue University Calumet. The purpose of the Stryker Evacuation Chair is for the evacuation of persons with mobility limitations or injuries from multi-level facilities in emergency situations. Basically, if you have a person who is unable to evacuate a building themselves, then the chair can assist with uh, getting that person out of the building safely. If an individual is unable to evacuate or shelter in place and the chair is needed for transport, contact University Police via your building deputy radio or by calling them at 989-2220. A key feature of the striker chair is any item on the chair that is red in color has a function. That means it facilitates an action. So for instance, the tread mechanism on the back of the chair. When you go to pull that out, it's going to be locked initially. That means you have to grab the two red bars on the back, squeeze them together, and pull the tread mechanism out. That red item, those red bars, have a function that facilitates the uh, movement of the tread mechanism itself. Step one, open the chair as you would a folding chair. Step two, press down on both brake levers in the back. Step three, pull up on the back handle. Pull up the red wire while simultaneously pulling up on the handle. Step four, have the individual sit down in the chair while crossing their arms in the front. Take the harnesses and while crossing them, bring them over the individual's shoulders and place them in the buckle mechanism. You will hear a click. Step six, buckle the individual's feet. Ask them to place their feet next to each other on the footrest. Bring the harness over and place it in the buckle mechanism and tighten the slack. You will hear a click. Release the upper handles on the back of the chair located behind the individual's shoulders. Press down on the red tab and pull the handle up. You will hear a click. Release the brake levers in the back by pushing them up. The chair is now mobile and functions like a wheelchair. Release the stair treads. Squeeze the two red bars on the tread mechanism together and simultaneously pull the stair treads down towards the floor. You will hear a click. Release the front handles on both sides of the chair. 
push down on the red tab and pull forward. With one building deputy guiding the chair in front and another guiding the chair in the back, roll the chair toward the stairs. Verbally advise the individual in the chair that you will be tipping them backwards to reassure them. When the front wheels are close to the stairs, slowly tip the chair backwards until the stair treads are gripping the stairs. Slowly move the chair down the stairs, making sure you have solid footing as you go. If you need to stop during transport, confirm this with your building deputy partner. Advise the individual in the chair that you need to stop for a moment and that you're going to be leaning them forward. Then, slightly lean the chair forward so that the chair is level. The building deputy in the front will be controlling the chair with the front handles. When you're ready to resume, slightly tip the chair backward, again notifying the individual in the chair of your actions, and then make sure that the stair treads are gripping the floor. And at this point, you can continue on. Step 13. When you reach ground level, advise the individual in the chair that you will be tipping them forward. Slowly tip the chair forward until all four wheels are on the ground and the chair is stable. Push the front handles back in by pressing on the red tab and pushing in toward the chair. Step 15. Push the chair tread mechanism back so that it is flush with the back of the chair. You will hear a click. When you have reached your final destination, activate the brake levers by pressing down. Unbuckle the individual's feet and shoulder harnesses, making sure to push the fabric and buckle mechanism out of the way so it is not a tripping hazard. Step 18. Advise the individual you have reached your final destination and they may exit the chair. Reach out to assist the individual from the chair. Now realize they may not be able to exit the chair on their own, and in this case you'll need to contact University Police. You can do so via your building deputy radio or by calling on the telephone at 989-2220. Now make sure that the uh, University Police has um, acknowledged your message, and then make sure to stay with the individual until someone um, from University Police or Hammond Fire can come and assist the individual from the chair.
Stryker chairs are housed in university police vehicles and on the third floor of the Student Union and Library Building. It is located in the storage area in the rear of SULB 325, which is also the TRIO Learning Center. If you need access to the chair and the door is locked, make sure to go to the Office of Disability Resources in SULB 343. They can let you into the room to retrieve the chair. Or you may need to contact University Police. As a reminder, contact University Police for a personal demonstration of the chair. You can also refer to the pictogram attached to each chair as needed. Please proceed to part two of the Stryker Chair Training.